Hi there, boys and girls. Are you ready for story time today? Today we're going to read the story, Winners Never Quit, by Mia Hamm. Illustrations are by Carol Thompson. Winners never quit. Mia loved basketball. Mia loved baseball. But most of all, Mia loved soccer. She even played every day with her brothers and sisters. Tap, tap, tap. Her toes kept the ball right where she wanted it. Then smack, she'd kick the ball right straight into the net. Goal! Everybody on her team would cheer. But sometimes it didn't work that way. One day, no matter how hard she tried, Mia couldn't score a goal. The ball would sail to the left of the net or to the right, or her sister Lovedy, the goalie, saved the ball with her hands. No goal and no cheering. Too bad, Mia, her brother Garrett said. Better luck next time. But Mia didn't want better luck next time. She wanted better luck now. I quit, Mia said. Oh dear, she's really upset, isn't she? You can't quit, Lovedy said. Then we'll only have two people on our team. Come on, Mia, her sister Caroline pleaded. You always quit when you start losing. Just keep playing, Mia, Garrett said. It'll be fun. But losing wasn't fun. Mia stomped back into the house. Quitter, Lovedy yelled. Mia didn't care. She'd rather quit than lose. You probably shouldn't call anybody a quitter. That's not nice. The next day, Mia ran outside, ready to play soccer. When she got there, the game had already started. Hey, she yelled. Why didn't you wait for me? I wanted to play. Garrett stopped playing. Sorry, Mia, he said, but quitters can't play on my team. Yeah, said Lovely Lovedy. If you can't learn to lose, you can't play. Garrett passed the ball to Tiffany, and Martin ran to steal it. Tiffany dashed around him and took a shot at the goal, and Lovedy blocked it again. Mia just stood by the side and watched. Remember, she didn't get the play. The next day, Garrett picked Mia first for his team. Mia got the ball. She dribbled down the field and smack, she kicked the ball toward the goal. And Love D caught it. No goal, no cheering. Remember, she likes to make goals, doesn't she? Too bad, Mia, Garrett said. Better luck next time. Mia felt tears in her eyes. She's going to quit, whispered Lovedy. I knew it. Mia still hated losing, but she didn't hate losing as much as she loved playing soccer. Ready to play? asked Garrett. Mia nodded. Garrett grinned as he passed her the ball. Mia ran down the field, tap, 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 with her toes. The ball stayed right, right beside her, with her like a friend. She got ready to kick it into the goal. Remember, when you play soccer, you want to keep the ball close to you so the other teammates don't get it. Mia kicked the ball as hard as she could. Maybe she'd score. Maybe she wouldn't. But she was playing and having fun. And that was more important than winning or losing playing, and having fun. Do you think she'll score a goal? Winners 
never quit. At the end, there's actually a letter from Mia Hamm. She's a professional soccer player. It says, hi, I hope you've enjoyed reading Winners Never Quit. While playing soccer with my family, I learned the importance of being part of a team and how to lose gracefully. Throughout my soccer career, these lessons have helped me succeed. I have often said there is no me in Mia, because in soccer and in life, I could never do it alone. Whatever you love to do, remember, winners never quit. Mia Ham, number nine. What's her soccer number? Number nine. And here's some pictures of her when she was younger. Playing soccer with her family. And on TV. The end. Winners never quit. We talk a lot about this in our classroom. Quitters never win. If you don't try, if you quit, you won't win. But if you keep trying, I know you'll win. Don't give up. Winners never quit. We'll see you later. I hope you enjoyed the story. Bye-bye.